In this video, I'm going to show you how you can sell digital products on Google Sites for free. Now, I'm going to show you here step by step exactly what you need to do. And if you watch until the end of the video, you'll have a store set up which has been created with Google Sites and you'll be able to upload your digital product and take payment for that product. So the first thing we need to do is head over to Google Sites. So once you're on Google Sites, you need to create a website. I'm just going to go ahead and create a blank site just for this video. And I'll just say I'm selling a thumbnails template. So you can sell whatever digital product you like. I'm just going to sell a thumbnail template. So I'm going to type here thumbnail template. We're going to make this bold and I'm going to change the font to something that I like. Obviously, this is all design stuff and it's going to be completely up to you to customize this yourself. So we're going to run with this for the video. I'm also going to enter in a site name and I'm also going to get a header image as well. Then I'll show you how you can start setting up the payment processing and how you can start selling your digital products. OK, so now we've updated this menu bar here. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and add a content block because it's important for us to describe what digital product we're selling. So I'm going to drag on this content block here and this allows us to add an image, a title and then some description text. So if you go ahead and click on the plus here, you can upload your own images. Maybe you want to create an image so you can show what you're actually selling. So if you go to upload, I'm just going to upload this here, which is my thumbnail that I use for my YouTube channel. And for an example here, I'm going to sell the thumbnail template. So I'm going to then type here again the title of the product. And maybe you want to include the price as well, which you can also put here in the description text. OK, so this is what I'm going to go with. We're just going to make sure that this all looks visually pleasing because it's important to note that when you're creating your pages, you need to make them somewhat visually appealing and tell everyone what they're going to receive after they buy your product. So bullet points work great for that. If you want to add bullet points here, then feel free to do so. For me, though, I'm just going to paste in this is an example product. Now, once you've got your title, you've got your preview, you've got your description, you now want to add a buy now button. So if you go to insert, you want to scroll down and here we can drag on or click a button. So for the button, what we're going to do, we're going to link to a payment processing website, which allows us to give the product once someone's bought it and it allows someone to actually pay for the product. Now, we don't currently have a link to that yet. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to our payment processor, which is going to be Gumroad. So if you go ahead and go to Gumroad, just type it in on Google, it will take you to this window. And if you go to pricing, you'll see here that they just take a 10% flat fee. So you don't have to pay any monthly subscription. You don't have to pay anything apart from a 10% fee when someone buys your product. So go ahead and click start selling in the top right hand corner, then log in with any of these here. Or you can enter in your email and a password and create a new account. OK, so once you've created your account, it's going to ask you to create your first product. So click create your first product and now you can go ahead and name it. Obviously, you'll have a digital product in mind. I'm going to just name mine digital product. Make sure you've got digital product selected. And here you can go ahead and price your product. You can change it to whatever currency you think most of your traffic is going to use. So you can see here I've listed thumbnail template, digital product, and I'm listing it for $25. Gumtree are going to take 10% of this. So they're going to take $2.50. Once you're happy with all of that, you want to then go to next, customize. And here you can write more about your product, explain it. You can add a description and you've got here your URL as well. Now, here's where it can get quite technical and you can really go as advanced as you'd like with this. I'm just going to make it very simple. I'm going to add a very simple description and I'm not even going to bother with a cover image. But if you wanted to create a cover image, you will create one that's 1280 by 720 pixels and that will go at the top of your page. So for my URL, I'll just call this thumbnail template. And then I'm going to leave the cover image and the thumbnail. But I would highly recommend if you really want to sell here, you would upload these. For the thumbnail, you need to create an image which is 600 by 600 pixels. Fairly simple stuff. And you can preview this by clicking on this preview button. And here you can see what your listing is going to look like. Obviously, without a cover image, it does look quite bland. So I would recommend you go ahead and make one. Here you've got the description, you've got the price, and people will be able to buy this once we've added our payment methods in a second. So scrolling down, you've got the product info. Do you want the button to say, I want this, buy or pay? I like buy this. You can also enter in a summary. So I've put here, you will get a YouTube thumbnail template and that will kind of like 
be next to the buy now button and you can add any other additional details if necessary. Scrolling down, you've got the pricing or you can allow customers to pay whatever they want, which can be an interesting feature. And then apart from that, that's pretty much all you need to cover the basics. Then go ahead and go to content. And what you can do now is you can click this button here, insert file, computer files, and here you can upload your file. So I'm uploading this Photoshop thumbnail file. We can click open and that will then open the file into Gumroad. So now we've got that uploaded, we can go ahead and go and save changes or publish and continue. So I'm gonna save changes first and then click publish and continue. Now you may notice that you have to confirm your email address before you do that. So I'm gonna confirm my email address and then I'll be back. Okay, so now we've confirmed my email address. I may need to now refresh this page, but we're gonna save changes and then publish and continue. So now you've got this published. Now the only thing that's left to do is connect your payment accounts so you can actually receive payments for this. So if you scroll down and you go to settings, you'll then be able to scroll down even more and you should be able to find payment settings. If it isn't here, you wanna head over to the payments settings here, choose where you're located. And if you want to get quick payments, you need to upload a valid photo ID or proof of residence. So go ahead and check what you have here and then click save. Now what you can do, you can link your bank account or you can link Stripe. So you can get paid via your bank account or Stripe. Now what will happen is the payments will go into Gumroad first and you can go ahead and withdraw them. Now you wanna go ahead and enter in your name here, your sort code, account number, and confirm your account number and fill in whether you're uploading your details as an individual or a business, and then just enter in your personal info here. You can also connect PayPal. Now PayPal is going to incur a 10% Gumroad fee so you are gonna lose a little bit of money, but this is a free method to accepting payments. So go ahead and set up your payment methods and that will allow you to get paid from Gumroad. Now, the only thing left to do is go to your products and here you can see you've got your URL. So go ahead and click on the URL and that will open your product. Here you can copy this URL. Now, once you've copied the URL, you wanna head back over to Google Sites and remember we need to add a button. So click button, then enter in a name. I'm just gonna put buy now. And then you wanna paste in this Gumroad link, then click insert. So now you've got your button and you can obviously customize this however you'd like, make this button as big or as small, place it wherever. And obviously you'd make a much more visually pleasing landing page than this. This is just an example. But now if we go to publish in the top right hand corner, you can go ahead and publish this and then view this page. So now you've got your landing page created in Google Sites. People can read about your product and if they click buy now, it will then take them to this checkout page where they can then go ahead and buy this product and they will then see the price and then they would have the option here to pay. Now, the only reason that it's taken me straight to the download page is because I've not got my payment settings set up. So do make sure you go to settings and do make sure you set up your payments here. Otherwise, it will just take them straight to the product. So once you've done all that, you can pretty much publish your site and this URL here is the URL that you would share, which has your landing page and it has the buy now link, which will redirect to Gumroad. So I hope that quick video did help you out. Let me know if you've got any questions in the comment section below.